Hello, and thanks for joining me. Well, this is, uh, I guess, be part three, uh, trying to get this chuck to stop moving on the spindle. Uh, I cut the donut off and remounted it, and I'm going to show you what kind of readings I'm getting here. Uh, first, let me show you the inside of the chuck and what I did to it. Okay, here's what I did to the chuck. I cut that donut off. I cut about three-eighths of an inch off of it. And the reason I did that is to get rid of this unthreaded portion. Now, there's a lot of controversy about what that unthreaded portion is for. Uh, I, I think it's just to help uh, get the chuck started. Some people say it's to center the chuck, but I don't really think that's what it is. A uh, lot of argument about that. Uh, but this is this unthreaded area is probably 17 thousandths larger than my the unthreaded area on my spindle uh, and my Logan chuck the one that came with the lathe is 20 thousandths larger so you know if, if that is actually supposed to have a centering force uh, apparently Logan didn't see it that way so anyway I cut that off so uh, We'll, we'll continue and, and see what that does. Okay. Okay, let's see what it does. Well, that's better than it was. Not ideal, but definitely better. It's five thousandths both ways, so ten thousandths total movement. Okay, on the last video there was a lot of confusion about what we're looking at here. Let me point to what thing that here's the donut I cut off. Right there, in the very bottom there, I got the chuck unscrewed. And that's the spindle there. This part is the shoulder of the back register, the outer circumference of it. So I'm going to tighten the chuck up, up against that shoulder. Make sure it's good and tight. Now we're going to watch that section like we did in the last video and see what that does. Here it goes. Down. Up. Down. Up. Now, I didn't see what happened there, but when I edit the video, I, I will. Well, that concludes this video. Uh, I'm not really happy with the results. They're uh, definitely better than what we had before, uh, by a long shot. Uh, I don't know if it's enough to stop uh, chatter on this chuck. Uh, I don't really think so. Uh, I'll probably make one more video uh, where I put a sleeve inside this chuck uh, or a sleeve inside the back plate. Either that or I'll make a whole new backing plate. But anyway, then we'll get on to something more fun. Hopefully this, uh, whatever I figure out here, will apply to uh, other people that have a screw-on chuck. Maybe somebody will benefit from it. Anyway, thanks for joining me.